Other girls doing the um, the Jenga, showing you different things. I did a couple things with the Jenga lately. Um, along with the Juru Challenge, I'm going to do a Jenga series. I want to show you the very many ways you could practice and train the Jenga, utilize the Jenga, weaponize the Jenga, and um, really observe the Jenga. I think it's one of the best movements in Capoeira. Um, I'll show you the Acarabasias and Floeros in context uh, as a ground fighting or getting off the ground kind of thing. Um, kicks, I'll show you ways of doing kicks in different ways of creating distractions with them. And I gotta show you the hand, um, the hand fighting, or the at least the hand strikes that do exist in the capoeira, at least the ones I know. And, um, the headbutts. Um, not so fond of headbutts anymore because you can give yourself a really nasty whiplash if you're not careful. But one of the things I want to do is go over uh, about seven principal basic movements of capoeira and why those ones i like the most but i want to start with a jenga because that is my favorite i'll go through the i'm going to call this my jenga series and i'm also going to do one on the eskiva and that'll be the eskiva series the negachiva series um the floero or acrabasia series um but what i'm really trying to do or even the moleque series what I'm really trying to impress upon you is that it's not all the flashy kicks and cartwheels. It's the deception is what I want to show you. The deceptive aspects of Capoeira. The creative aspects as well. So with that said, I'm out for that.